They think they're coming in here and taking something from you. Your seventh win. The only way you get the respect you deserve is to go take it. Algonquin continues its amazing season as they play host to last year's Central Massachusetts Division I District Champions from Fitchburg. The Red Raiders start with the ball. Here on third down, quarterback Andrew Brooks goes up the middle to A.J. Williams. Not enough for the first as they're forced to punt. Now the Tomahawks take over on offense led by quarterback Ryan Berry. First drive on third down, Ryan Berry to Billy Palomeros. He heads outside, great move up the middle really using the sidelines and is pushed out at the 35. Few plays later on second down, Max Sarasoli cutting up the middle, gets passed, good for a first down. Next play, handoff to Billy Palomeros again. Look at number 23, Kyle Menezes with a key block there, opens the door for Palomeros and he's home free to the end zone. Tomahawks go up seven, nothing off of the 24 yard touchdown run. Now, next pitch for a drive. Alex Marrero cutting right up the middle, getting rid of Paluchko. Skinner brings him down at the 40 yard line. Big run there by Marrero. Couple plays later, Brooks is looking for options. There's Jake Paretsky on a sack, but a flag is down. That will give the Red Raiders a first down. Two plays later, handoff will once again go to Marrero. As he goes up the middle, finds a hole, plows right through, good enough for a first down. Later in the drive, third down, it'll be once again Marrero as he cuts to the outside, avoiding blockers, and he really wasn't doesn't want to stay down. Look at him bouncing around out there. He's got a lot of maroon shirts. He's trying to bring him down. They finally do. Marrero trying to stay upright. He couldn't there, and it's fourth down. We head now to the second quarter where the Red Raiders are gonna go for a field goal. Facundo Isis takes the snap, he kicks it right into his own line. Robinson there to pick it up. No elevation whatsoever on the kick as the Tomahawks take over. On third down, up the middle, Max Sarasoli is gonna fall short of the first. So the Tomahawks are gonna go for it on fourth and short. It's Sarasoli up the middle again. It's very close, but he's just able to get the first down. Now a few plays later, again, Algonquin going for it on fourth down. This time, outside run by Kyle Menezes. He gets past the first down, dragged out of bounds at around the 45-yard line. Now on third down, very looking for options. Trying to avoid the pressure, but he can't avoid Tyree Hampton bringing him down from behind for a sack. Now the next Fitchburg drive, Brooks outside to Marrero. Kind of deja vu here, bouncing around, trying to avoid the pressure, but Robinson's right there to bring him down as Fitchburg's forced to punt. Now on first and long, Ryan Berry, screen pass, Gavin Boyden cuts up the middle, finds a hole, and he gets to the outside. He breaks a tackle using the sidelines and is pushed out of bounds, but good for a first. A few plays later on third down, Ryan Berry overthrowing Menezes, and the Tomahawks are forced to punt again. Now, first play of the drive. Outside toss, Marrero, Marrero sending it deep. Tyree Hampton has it, then he doesn't have it, then he has it as he bobbled the ball and makes it an easy 76-yard touchdown. They're now down 7-6. to six. Now, next drive, Ryan Berry looking for options. He finds his star wide receiver, Colin Robinson. He gets up the middle, breaking tackles, and a host of Fitchburg players has to bring him down at the 35 big catch and run by Robinson later on third down Barry looking again for Robinson and he connects Robinson slips though he was down by contact so on fourth down the Tomahawks are gonna go for it yet again Barry looking for options he goes up to the middle but he runs right into the pressure from Facundo Isis and Michael Ford and that's not gonna do anything as it's 7-6 Tomahawks going into halftime. We move to the third quarter. First Algonquin drive on second down. This is Billy Palomeros again going to the outside, then up the middle, breaking a tackle. Huge gain, this time 46 yards inside the 10, setting up first and goal. So what happens on the very next play? Barry to Caio Menezes right up the middle, burst free to the end zone, the extra point would not go though and it's 13 to 6 Algonquin now on fourth down this is Marrero again the Algonquin defense right there to stop him 
Now on the very next play for Algonquin. Palomeros outside, gonna go 20 yards to get the first down. Inside the 10, tremendous running. Now on third and goal. Ryan Berry goes play action, and he's going to look for Colin Robinson. He's got him in the end zone. Six yard touchdown, and it's now 20 to six, Algonquin. Now next Pittsburgh drive, facing third and long. Brooks gonna try and go deep, but that is way underthrown. Easy play for Paluchko to make the interception. Tremendous play there. Now three plays later on the next Algonquin offensive drive. Ryan Barry looking again, screen pass to Gavin Boyd, and this time it's gonna go to the end zone, heading for the pylon, he's got it. Touchdown, and it's now 27 to six. Algonquin, we move to the fourth quarter. We get to see some new faces for both teams. Fourth down for Fitchburg. Michael now going outside, and he is not gonna get the first. Flag would be thrown, it'd be against Fitchburg. Penalty declined, tackled by Drew Reynolds. Now, Jay Key, the quarterback, handing it off to Zach Smith, who goes 22 yards to the outside, pushed out of bounds, good for a first down. Now, two plays later, Another new face, John Palomeros, heads to the outside, looking like his big brother Billy. He gets the first down and is brought down at the five. Now next play on first and goal. Handoff by Key to Zach Smith, to the end zone for the touchdown, and that would be all she wrote as the Tomahawks would go on to beat Fitchburg 34 to six. Uh, we just play like every other week. We didn't look at their record. We know that they're a tough team, the Red Watch A's, so we just, um, we just play like every other game, I thought that was the win. Definitely confidence boost, like our first half was a little shaky, but the second half was, you know, that's how we play Tomahawk football, and um, yeah, just the confidence boost, we know what we're going to do going into Westboro, I hope. Our defense really stepped it up in the second half, like, um, we didn't tackle, 33 was basically their entire offense, so once we shut them down, they, they really had nothing to do after that, and our offense stepped it up, we began blocking after that.